welcome to my channel economics at a glance today we will study indifference curve okay well indifference curve comes under ordinal approach cardinal approach and ordinal approach we have already covered so today we will cover this indifference curve well what do you mean by indifference curve see indifference that means there is no difference okay so there is no difference in what there is no difference in consumer satisfaction. Well, we are uh, now studying the consumer behavior. So, what is the definition? The locus of combination of two goods. Okay. We will consume two goods. And that combination we will make in such a way that it will provide same level of satisfaction. Okay. So, we will consume two goods in such a combination that in every combination we will get same level of satisfaction that is what called indifference curve okay so next is how we will explain this in graph let's see this is the x x axis and this is y axis let's say i will take an example of tea and coffee let's say in one day you need five cup of coffee and one cup of tea okay that will satisfy you okay so let's say this is the curve of indifference curve okay what this curve is we will study later for this time this is the curve of indifference curve and so it is well it is ordinal in nature qualitative in nature but let's say now your satisfaction is 100 okay we will assume that let's your satisfaction is 100 and you are consuming 5 cup of coffee and one cup of tea. Let's say we are taking tea in x axis and coffee in y axis. Okay, fine. So this five cup of coffee and one cup of tea, this combination will provide us satisfaction that is 100. Now we will move to consume two cup of tea and for that we are reducing the cup of coffee to three. Okay. 3 cup of coffee and 2 cup of tea. See, and that same combination also giving satisfaction 100. Okay, again, 2 cup of coffee and 3 cup of tea. Okay, 3 cup of tea and 2 cup of coffee that is also giving same level of satisfaction. Okay, so this is the way where you can find different combination of two goods giving same level of satisfaction and this curve is that's why called indifference curve because there is no difference in satisfaction getting my point see next is graph done definition done you all know that every curve has a definite slope yes or no and how we used to find that see just a minute Okay, this is your indifference curve and how we will measure the slope? Slope is measured by tan theta, okay? So at any point of this curve, I will measure the tan theta. Well, tan theta value is P by B. Here perpendicular is this, that means change in Y and base is this one, that is change in X. So change in y divided by change in x that is your slope of indifference curve getting my point slope of indifference curve is del x by del y that is change in y divided by change in x which is otherwise called as mrs what is mrs marginal rate of substitution okay marginal rate of substitution which is diminishing when we move further and due to this diminishing marginal rate of substitution the first property came that is the curve is convex to origin okay it was very important for the students who are preparing for JRF or any competitive exam why indifference curve is convex in nature due to diminishing marginal rate of substitution clear next point next point is the slope is negative okay why slope is negative see here what happens 
to increase one cup of tea to increase one cup of tea we need to decline some cup of coffee okay to move forward or to add some in good x we have to decrease some in good y that is the reason why the slope is negative clear next one the indifference curve are non intersecting well non intersecting means they will not intersect how see we will assume here suppose in two indifference curves are intersecting okay we will assume here two indifference curve this is your x axis y axis so we will assume here two indifference curve are intersecting let's say it is ic1 it is ic2 okay two different level of indifference curve so if i will assume that first one let's say 100 and second one let's say 50 clear so this is the point a where these two indifference curves are intersecting what happens here see this point a this is a combination yes or no let's say same example tea in x axis and coffee in y axis okay let's say it is 3 cup of coffee and 2 cup of tea 2 and 3 So here, what it shows? See, two cup of tea and three cup of coffee. It is giving satisfaction. That is, A point is present in IC one curve. Fine. That means two cup of tea and three cup of coffee. It is providing you satisfaction hundred because it is present in IC one curve. But it is also present in IC two curve as well. That means. the same two cup of tea and three cup of coffee it will provide satisfaction 50 but is it possible like two cup of tea oh, sorry two cup of tea and three cup of coffee it will satisfy me by 100 units it is satisfied me by 50 units it is not possible i can be satisfied by 100 or 50 but i cannot be satisfied both 100 and 50 yes or no this is the point why they never intersect okay two indifference curve never intersect with each other fine the last one that is the ic curve that is indifference curve lies right the lies right to another denotes higher utility well what it is see the same graph okay this is your ic one let's say it is 100 okay same tea and coffee okay so it is giving 100 level of satisfaction by consumption of two cup of tea and three cup of coffee fine now i will tell suppose another indifference curve another indifference curve lies right to another right to another that is ic2 what it will be see here obviously the combination will be more four cup of coffee and three cup of tea yes or no so they are consuming more means satisfaction will also be more yes or no the much we will consume satisfaction will also increase yes or no that is why the ic curve lies to right to another it will go on increasing the satisfaction similarly if it go on to the left word then it go on decreasing the satisfaction right word increasing the satisfaction and left word movement it is decreasing the satisfaction getting my point clear so definition graph properties then in my next video i will tell about the budget line well what is budget line what is the relationship of budget line with in reference curve So uh, before switching this video, let me tell you in the description box I have mentioned a MCQ related to indifference curve. You can easily access to that to test yourself that how much you get through my video. So don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.